Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 and today is day 22 for 23 Days of Jays. Uh, this is obviously the Air Jordan 22. This is the only pair that I have and this is the pair that I will be playing in um, for the Air Jordan project. So, this box I don't like. Um, it comes with this like top case thing on here and Believe it or not, when I first got these, I did not know how to open the box. Like, I was looking all over for these little pull tabs or whatever it is, because it opens, like, underneath here. And it looks like, right here, that it would just open up alongside, and I felt like an idiot. And um, it just took me took me about five minutes to figure out how to finally open the damn box. And that's never something that I like to do, because I just like to open the shoes up and put them on my feet. A um, couple of interesting features with it, though, because it's fairly plain besides the overall design of it but there is a peel off label here and it says peel off for serial number and then it says to register your pair I personally do not remember what that's even for um, I don't know if it's for authenticity or or what but um, that's what's in there it comes with the additional uh, units here somebody asked me what the difference between air and zoom air is uh, in the last video and um, you're going to want to check out just for kicks 212 I believe um, he, he has a video uh, all about zoom air on his channel uh, or you can go to my site and just search for it um, it's also up on there as well and um, yeah this is the shoe here I'm just going to take these out real quick it's got the paper on it has um, like embossed pieces on it that are the same design as what's on the heel uh, right right here so this is just it's just says like Jordan and all that stuff like shadow boxed and like kind of like a weird font and I don't know what else it says um, yeah I don't I think it just says Jordan but that's what's on the paper and uh, I'll get this out of the way here Here are the shoes. I actually really like the way that these look, just like the 21s. I feel like these look like an actual Air Jordan. Um, another person left a comment on the last video, which I thought was like a really cool comment because I hadn't really thought about it until he had mentioned it, or she. Um, but basically he said that uh, it's interesting how all of the early model Air Jordans I have stories for but the later models are the ones that I don't have stories for, so you could tell like which Jordan series uh, numbers I actually grew up with, and that's a hundred percent valid. I again, I never thought about it until he had mentioned it, and um, I think it's really interesting also because you know I was I was older when these guys came out and the twenty ones and things like that. So while I might not have an actual story. Um, like how you would with with like a retro, uh, it also plays into the fact where you know certain shoes MJ didn't play in, so that's maybe why they weren't as popular. Um, and you know it's it's the whole nostalgic factor. So uh, you know the questions, the kamikazes, the Shaq Gnosis, um, other popular models, Crazy Eight, uh, the Top Ten Two Thousands, Twilight Zone pumps. Um, you know, there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of models that are available back in the day where most of us have some sort of nostalgic like attachment to, and so that kind of is what like brings us to the the shoe itself. Like especially when they retro, like if they retro a penny, especially if they're in the original colorways and things like that. A lot of us like kind of gravitate towards those sneakers versus these newer ones. Um, and I don't know if it's a hundred percent based on style, but it seems like more like. Uh, you know, style has a, a lot to do with it, but at the same time, it's a lot of nostalgic, like, attributes to it. Um, there's a lot of nostalgia to these sneakers, and most of us do it because, you know, we were like 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe 13, 14, when most of these sneakers came out, and so we have some sort of weird emotional attachment to it. Whereas the newer generation, like, they said, like, in the last video, like, oh, I was however many years old, and the Air Jordan 21 was my first shoe. I love that shoe. And that's how we feel about the previous models, like the 6, the 7, the 8, and so on, 11, 12, 13. So um, I think it's kind of cool how, how the whole 
you know, thing kind of like spans like generations. It doesn't matter when you were born, just the fact that you have a love and passion and a specific attachment or memory to a certain sneaker. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but back to these shoes, uh, this was another one that featured the IPS uh, system. Again, they were in targeted zones, a little bit larger than in the 21. And um, these ones also had those pods in there. I, haven't, I have not worn these uh, yet, but I will. I'll take, take this off when I go to wear them. Um, and then this is all 3M. I remember the samples used to change color uh, with like heat and everything, but I don't, I don't know why they didn't go with that. Maybe it's because it was pretty stupid. But um, And then this is the first one with a, uh, they said that it's titanium. I don't know if that's true or not. So it kind of feels like plastic, but um, but yeah, so that's what it is. These ones I don't feel are as comfortable as the 21s. Uh, like inside there, there's like this big patch, and it's raised up a little bit. And then when you stick in your foot inside the shoe, you can like really feel that kind of push into your heel. I don't really like that. Um, I do like their lace lock. This is the only lace lock that I actually like where it's like functional. Um, the, the previous lace locks are functional, you know, but they, they loosen up when, like, if you were to play in them. Whereas this one, it doesn't move. It doesn't move at all. Um, you know, the laces are pretty much taut in there. And all you do is just squeeze these together, and then you can pull it up or uh, loosen it or uh, tighten it, I mean. So um, I think that's cool. It's not the coolest looking lace lock, but it works. And then inside the shoe, you have, here, this is what I was talking about. So, like, this I just don't like how like it feels like it pushes into your into your foot and it's got like extra uh, stitching and stuff like that so I can feel all of this under my foot and everything um, and then you can see that like, there's extra padding here and all that stuff so I think that's pretty dope performance wise and then in the back you have the zoom pad or or pod. Um, again, the, the file on here is different. It's a little bit lower density, a little bit fluffier, I guess you could say, than the airbag one. Um, but the cool thing is that it's double stacked. So there's two bags in there. So the airbag one is just one airbag, but like these guys here is double stacked. So I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the dope colorway that, or this is the colorway that I think is dope. Um, I remember the basketball version, and those sat on shelves for days. Um, they were like $60 at Foot Locker, and Foot Locker rarely puts their stuff on sale, um, and they still sat. So uh, the other colorway that I like, though, is the black one with the suede upper. Um, I do wish that I got those instead of these because these are, these are super stiff. Um, like the panels on here, they're just, the way that they overlap, there's just a lot of it, and uh, it's real stiff and stuff, so this is going to take a lot of break in time. Um, before they're actually like real comfortable as far as the upper goes uh, to play in. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, just a quick look at the 22 uh, on day 22 for 23 days of Jays. Um, again, I, I, I like this shoe. It looks like an Air Jordan to me. Um, you know, like the future Air Jordans, which it was at the time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for all your support. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day, day 23. And until next time, guys, have a good one.